Annie, that little orphan with the indomitable spirit, won't be walking on the Broadway boards again to sing about the sun coming out. The curtain fell today. Show closed. But that didn't stop the cast from having one giant party at Magique. Tonight, after 2,377 performances, it was time for the Annie cast to sing and dance for themselves. And here is something to party about. Annie was the seventh longest running musical in Broadway history. Anna. Well, Jim, there wasn't a dry eye in the house when the final curtain came down on that little chatterbox, the one with all the curly locks. Dave Gilbert reports from the Eurus Theater. Please. You really gonna miss it that much? Oh, it's, a, it, it's been so much a part of my life and everybody else's life for that matter. It's very difficult to imagine a Broadway without an Annie, to be perfectly honest with you. So I'm gonna miss it a lot. Martin Charnin is talking about his baby. This show he conceived 10 years ago. Now, the seventh longest running Broadway musical. In April 1977, a curly-haired orphan and a mutt named Sandy came to Broadway with little more than a whimper. Now, after 2,377 performances, Annie is saying goodbye to the Big Apple. But Sandy isn't walking away with his tail between his legs. It's the largest and most spectacular going-away party in Broadway history. All five girls who played Annie and other original cast members are now here for the final curtain call. like saying goodbye to part of your life? In a way, it is, because all I've ever done is Annie. You know, it's the first thing I ever did, and it's the thing I always remember, and something that I always wanted to do, so that, that means I'll remember it even more. To play a character like this, it was a once-in-a-lifetime shot. Uh, all the characters that I've done, I think I've fallen in love with, or have become a part of me, but this one probably has influenced my life more than anything else, I think, for the better. Even to this day, they say, they say oh, of course you're going to sing tomorrow. And it's like one of the responsibilities that you take when you take on the part of Annie is that you know, no matter how long you're going to be out of the show, you know, how long afterwards, you're still going to sing tomorrow. Some Annie's have been able to really cry, which I haven't. <laughs> Believe me, I'll cry. Hopefully I'll cry in this part. <laughs> For real, this time. It's a very emotional closing, not a dry eye in the house. Everyone talking about the great loss. But loss is a poor choice of words if you're talking financially. Annie grossed $225 million. Producers saying no other show made that much, and there probably won't be another one to top Annie. The sun may not come out tomorrow here on Broadway, but alas, there still is a tomorrow for Annie. Next season, there'll be a sequel on Broadway, Annie 2. I'm Dave Gilbert, News 4, Manhattan. Well, later this evening at the party for Annie, we asked Allison Kirk if she did cry when she took her final bow. Well, we don't know if Sandy cried when he made his final bow-wow, but we do know that he needs a rest. Sandy, it seems, has never had a vacation in nearly six years. That is, unless you count the two-week leave of absence he took to play Las Vegas with Liberace. <laughs> well, several dozen miles from Broadway up in Indian Point. Indian Point, too, is...